guys and girls i just want to say this is uh intro to the video first is that if you're dealing with the sba and something seems wrong then there's a good chance that there is something wrong on their end and you may be talking to a representative that really just um doesn't understand what you're trying to say or just doesn't isn't correct about what you're going through so with this video i just wanted to establish that that um if you're having problems and something seems to be just totally off it's not making sense keep trying just keep trying and keep calling and try to find a different representative maybe in the sba another agent that can uh, get you that answer that you're looking for or at least meet up with where you're at with your with your uh case and your loan and in, in, in your process that you're going through just to get that out there i just want to throw that out there real quick thanks again back to the video what's up youtubers it's good to see you today i would like to thank you all for watching like and subscribe if you enjoy the content for idle sba ppp idle grants idle loans stuff like that that has to do with small businesses i just uh, would like to get out there right now what we're going to talk about today is you saw my video if you didn't uh, i was declined got a decline letter that i went over with yesterday and it was very very confusing as everybody in the uh comments probably have, has already talked about it was a very con confusing type of uh ordeal that i had just gone through that i was declined and i was trying to tell the sba agent uh how can how can you decline me uh what you're giving me on my decline letter was saying you're declined for six months and i got that i was declined for six month uh reconsideration and it was a, a letter that i had gotten back in march but I never had received it, so they resent it to me, and I called back up and I said, yes, this is for March. However, I filed another one in April 8th for the modification of the loan now that it's at 24 months. And the lady kept on saying, the lady said, no, this is for 24 months. We accident, we overpaid you by 18 months and more. She said, we overpaid you by two years because of what was on your application. And I said, what was on my application? She gave me a number and I said, well, that's what I made. And she said, no, it's not. You gave us the wrong line on it. I said, no, I didn't. So I got my taxes out today. I was like, well, I'm right. And my I gave her the correct number. I called back up to say, excuse me, um, there seems to be a mistake here because I filed for modification. You said I was declined. Now, are we talking about the same decline? Are we talking, because I resent one in April, but you guys are telling me that I'm declined for the new one too. And the gentleman I spoke with today said, let me check. Recorded. Please stay on the line while we connect your call with one of our representatives. All customer service representatives are currently busy assisting other callers. Well, everybody knows there. I just waited 10 minutes and got kicked off. So, that's a good start. Devin White signature. Pretty cool, huh? That is beautiful. Thank you for calling SBA Customer Service. This is Patient Agent ID 284. How can I help you? Yeah, hi. My name is Ella. I was calling about a decline letter that I had gotten. Okay. And can I have your application number? Sure. It's uh, 330. May I verify your name? Uh, my name is... Thank you, Mr. Yes, I um I called yesterday and I was talking to a lady who uh, I, I I just received my uh, decline letter and it was a uh, it was dated on March fifteenth that I got this letter apparently um, and I know it's not with the new guidelines for twenty four months I uh, recently put in another uh, reconsideration for modification for the twenty four month loan on uh, April eighth. I was wondering if that is the same as this. Is that also a decline or, or is that is the one that I put on April 8th for the new 24 month uh, loan application? Is that part of this decline or is it a, a separate application? Can I have your, may I have the last four digits of your social security number? And your birth date. Okay. 
Uh, so def- yeah, you have an increased request that was declined back in March. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. It's it's, di- it's different from the from the pro the program the loan modification program. Oh, it is. So it's it, different, yes. Okay, so if I put in a new one, then uh, it would be it would go with the new guidelines. Uh, do you receive the email to submit the information? No. All right, so you have to receive the email. Oh, I hadn't. For the new one, you need to receive the email. Oh, I was told that if you had a. I was going on YouTube, and they had said if you if you send it to the reconsideration dot dot dot, it would put your application in. It that's not accurate. Oh, you can you can. Uh, I mean, you can do that. You can send the request to PDC uh-huh. uh, dot reconsideration at SBAWF. Absolutely, you can do that. Okay, so if I went ahead and did that uh, in April, I did that in April. Um, that would probably is that still in the processing or? If you do that in April, uh, it will, they will review. They will reopen your application again, and uh, provide you the list of information you need to provide. Okay, that's cool. Then I guess I need to just wait for them to respond to me. Uh, yes, if you send the email and put the application number in the subject line, you have you can wait for the response. Uh, do you know how how long that normally takes for a response, on average? Because I put it out about a month ago. Uh, there is no guidance on the time frame. There, there's no telling. Okay. Um. One. There, one more question. There, yeah. There's no guidance. Okay. One more question. Um. I'm, when I start making payments on my first, uh, for, for my first loan, when do I have to start? I know they they put the, push that forward for another year. When do I start making payments on my loan? Well, let me check on that. Is it a year now after you receive your loan, or two years, or? Let me check on this, sir. It's, uh, I'll put you on the brief for while I'm getting the information, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, your next payment is due on May 15, 2022. May 15, 2022. Okay, great. All right, sir. Well, I want to thank you very much for all your help. You've been great. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Nope, that's it. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you for calling us. Have a great day, sir. You too. Bye-bye. So what happened here, ladies and gentlemen, I know I got so many, so many comments on this saying, well, what you did wrong was this. Well, what you did wrong was this. Well, you did the 25% wrong or you did this. It was actually the SBA that made the mistake. And I hate to say I was right on this because I wish it was me that made the mistake and not the SBA because it would mean so much better, greater things for you guys out there. But what it means is the SBA is making some mistakes and they're confusing a lot of us what's of what's really happening in your uh, loan uh, process. I would also like to say that I did not mean to put anybody down by saying, oh, I have a contact in the SBA. And I was not talking about Jason McElhome, guys out there. Jason McElhome doesn't play that game. I know that he's a straight shooter. I was talking about probably 99% of the other ones do. And that's why I like to keep it real and shoot it straight with you about what's going on with your money instead of trying to sugarcoat things. As a lot of them out there do, but they have these... uh... (laughs) I don't want to get myself in trouble again with that. Anyway, to let you all know, my application is still under review. Um, he said he couldn't see my new application that I put out on the 8th, but the one that I had spoke to him about was for the reconsideration that it was basically filed last year that was just coming up in March, getting the, the, um, the status on the old one. So now that the old one's out and the new one's forward, we'll see what happens with that. But to let you know, oh, and I also asked him, I said, how long does it take for um, the new process on your 
loan modification increase for 24 months to get through because I, I filed it on the 8th of April. And he said, there's no telling, uh, there's no timeline on that, which I thought there was. I thought they had to get back with you in like 21 days or something like that. But apparently there's no timeline as to when they have to get back to you. But it was a, a nice gentleman on the phone. I, I could understand him quite well. Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know out there, the decline that I had gotten was declined, but it was not declined for the 24 months. So that's still out there, but there is no timeline on that. Just to let you guys know if you're still waiting and waiting and waiting for a response from the SBA on your idle 24 months, then you could still be waiting. And I checked my, my portal today and it, it was still at a flat line, like nothing had happened or gone through or anything like that. So never had a blue button. I never got a blue button to let you all know, never got one. Um, I'm hoping to get one. That would be nice if they would have given me one. And he said in this, I'll let, I'll let, as you, if you heard him, he said, did you ever get an invitation? And I said, no, I just went ahead and, you know, filled out the PDC recons. And he said, that's, that's cool. That works too. But to let you guys know, it's, uh, this is what it's like, you know, dealing with these loans. Uh, it's kind of nice to know that, Hey, I, I, I did get declined. I know that, but it's not about the 24 month decline. It was about the six month, and which was what I was trying to say to her yesterday, tell the SBA lady, and she kept on saying, no, this is for 24 months. I was like, ah, okay. Anyway, I want to tell you all right now, I am still working very, very hard on getting you your idle grants for $10,000. We are working on that and we're gonna keep working on that until we get it, guys. Until we get it, we are strong in numbers. Unity, there is power in unity. That is where we prevail. And I wanna thank you all for, for watching, liking and subscribing. Go Bucks, have a blessed day. I want my 10K. Get it to me. Get it to me. Five, one, three.